we believe that we are all children of God. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. So we hope today that our elected representatives also hear and respond with gracious hospitality to our plea that safety and refuge be granted to the Syrian refugees. We are the visible hands and heart of our God in this world, in this place, at this time. And so we gather today in solidarity with those who ask only for safe shelter, a home for children and parents to grow together in peace. I stand before you here today as a person of faith, as a Christian, who strongly believes in upholding our nation's greatest ideals, our values, our principles upon which our nation was founded, as we continue to provide a safe and secure home for all who reside in this great nation and this wonderful state. I stand here before you disappointed, disappointed by the fear-driven reaction of far too many of our nation's leaders, including our own governor, that are calling for our nation and our state to close our doors, to shut our borders to refugees who are fleeing the Islamic State and the utter destruction of their country. As a follower of Jesus, a refugee himself, I am called to welcome the stranger, to offer freedom and relief to those who are persecuted and those who are oppressed. We've always been a welcoming state, among the first, in fact, to stand up for minorities. So I've been especially disheartened to hear some of our leaders, including our governor, now declaring that we will not welcome refugees from Syria. As faith leaders, we are here today to say loud and clear that we Iowans do want to continue to be a welcoming state. We do want to welcome our desperate sisters and brothers, for they themselves are victims of terrorists and who are searching for safe harbor for their children. We're gathered here today out of love. Love for our immigrant brothers and sisters, love for our refugees brothers and sisters, but especially from our Syrians brothers and sisters who are refugees. Today we remember that Jesus was a refugee with his family, a Middle Eastern family fleeing persecution. As the daughter of an immigrant, the niece of an immigrant, and as an ordained Christian minister, I urge the elected leaders of our nation to be the moral authority right here at home that we strive to be throughout the world. From people escaping slavery to members of the LGBTQ community, the state of Iowa has a long and a proud history of standing on the side of the oppressed, those who have been dehumanized and those who have been feared. And this notion that somehow we can stop the wrong people from crossing our borders and coming into our peaceful land uh, sends a chilling message to every minority. It is time for us to set aside our fear and do the right thing. Amen. As an ordained minister in the Christian faith, I know that my neighbors don't just live in the houses next to mine. My neighbors live around the world. The families fleeing war and conflict are my neighbors, are our neighbors, they're our families. If we surrender our values, then ISIS has won. Amen. And who will we have become? We have demonstrated that it is not only our responsibility, but our honor to care for the widow and the orphan and the stranger. Let the current Syrian refugee crisis be no exception and no different. That is our call as people of faith. That is our call as people of courage and compassion. 
we are answering the call to love one another as I have loved you. In these extraordinary times, we can do nothing less. To turn away, to reject, to discriminate against refugees who are fleeing the Islamic State is wrong, and it is certainly not the way of Jesus. So today, we call our governor, who self-identifies as Christian, to follow Christ. We call our governor to do not throw away refugees, because as we all know, Iowa is welcoming. We're going to the governor's office. <laughs> These are the signatures of clergy across the United States who have signed this petition asking that we allow our Christian values to admit the refugees. There are over 2,000 faith leaders who have signed this statement across the nation and over 70 in the state of Iowa. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. In a word, if we want security, let us give security. Amen. If we want life, let us give life. If we want opportunities, let us provide opportunities. And we will not turn our back on our Syrian sisters and brothers in their hour of greatest need. We have gathered thousands, 2,000 plus signatures from okay. clergy and religious asking Governor Branstead to look at the Syrian refugee crisis and to allow them the safe haven that the United States has always been for other groups of immigrants and refugees. Okay. I hope that he will take that in consideration. Well, thanks for delivering. God, remind us that we were aliens. We were strangers. We were refugees. Someone took us in. That's right. We pray, oh God, for the great state of Iowa and for this state's leaders, that you would give them compassion and wisdom to decide according to the best in us and not the worst in us. That's right. To govern in hope rather than fear. Amen. We offer ourselves to the work of making our state welcoming for all people. We pray that you would raise up allies from the north to the south, from the Mississippi to the Missouri, Amen. that together we might work for all that you have promised. You are known to us by many names, and those names we pray.